When she opens her mouth, it's clear where she belongs. It's almost like a, like a tsunami that hits you. She's just so comfortable at what she's doing because she's telling a story that belongs to her. I always like music, so I definitely haven't really changed because I always wrote songs. Like music is 99% of me, and then there's 1% like Zoe. I'm still Zoe, it's like I'm still the same person. No success is gonna change who I am because that's just something that makes me feel like I worked hard enough, but the inside will never change. As I grew up, I had relentless childhood epilepsy. It's like you get seizures and you can't control them and you can't do anything. You just gotta take it the way it is. And it took me some time to just actually accept what happened and accept that it's part of me and that it'll always be a big part of my life. I'm happy that it's over and the pain I had to feel when I had the seizures is finally over. I still get a little bit nervous So music helped me a lot. I was listening to a lot of Jesse J stuff. You had a melody. Yeah, I had a melody. Now that I, when I look back and I wrote Control about it because I had, and this time I had a person with me. For her, I think songwriting is like therapy. I think she really, really, really needs that in her life. <laughs> That's the way that she can tell or express her feelings. Her magic is that you really, really believe what she says. And I mean, besides that, she has an incredible voice, you know. I can see Zoe just connects with people on an emotional level and she can't sing a phrase because she's so emotional about it. Like she stops and bursts into tears. I like being by myself, you know, when I write songs, I'll go home. I just want to be alone. That's normal, I think. I don't know, I feel good when I'm in the studio because that's my home and this is my, no one, will ever judge me in the studio and no one will ever judge me in my lyrics and my songs. <laughs> That's the thing, because like writing a song is the probably the most emotional part of my job also, but then like being able to perform it and not just streaming. Since she writes about herself, she writes for people, like in her song, Girls Like Us, not knowing who to trust, not even the ones we love because they don't know. That's a song that's written from a female perspective about the pressures of female beauty or the standards of female beauty. But and then you can hear in the song, but she quietly asks, well, who sets those standards? And more importantly, why are we adhering to these standards? So it becomes not only a song about girls like us, it becomes a song about people like us. I want to make people feel better. This is why I'm doing it. With all this, what I'm doing, with all the hot work, I want to show people, because I wasn't good in school, you know, and people always thought I'm the weirdo, and... I was different, you know? And I just want to show everyone that, that I'm about to kill this game. Her vocal ability is comparable to any A-lister globally. Point. Bar none. 
So she is a vocal beast and she's just at the beginning. I always compare myself to other people, which is so bad. I just really learned over the years and months, don't be too hard on yourself. This is so, you're gonna make things worse then. And every day is like, hello, hello, ha Halloween. I'm not looking for just a Zoe sound or just a Zoe song. I'm looking for a, a Zoe experience. You work on a performance not only to give something to the audience and to give them a, an experience, but also to protect yourself. I feel like this is probably my favorite part about my job, going on stage. This is how I stay connected to the fans and to my community. Because music keeps us together, you know, and then there's just like this part where I can't wait to, to see them live. I think it's, it's so nice to be successful when you work hard. The definition of success to me is 100% like seeing the people I hear through my music, because that's something that I always wanted to be able to do, and now I can finally share music, do what I love, and with that I can help people. And this is success to me. Celebrating the power of